Hi, my name is Patrick Daniel, and I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the Black Toe CNC. But first, let's overview what you're going to be building. It's this machine here, the router, which cuts the material. You have a Z axis, that this part moves up and down. You have the Y axis on the gantry, moves back and forth. And you have the X axis, which is hooked onto the table with two lead screws and it goes in this direction. A machine like this is hooked up to a computer and the computer is controlling the machine. It's controlling these motors here. This is, these are the X axis motors. That's the Y axis motor and this is the Z axis motor. So, let's talk about the things that you need to have to start this part of the assembly. These are the Z, Z component assembly pieces. You'll have two rails, and you'll notice that these rails have holes already drilled into them. And you'll also need two motor mounts. Okay, let's get started. You'll also need one and a half inch screws and crossed out. So let's put the router mount and assemble that part. You'll notice that there are four holes, one, two, three, four, and then there are four holes here. And these, this router mount is going to be attached to these two pieces like this. You can start it by just putting this screw through and then um, not going all the way through with this. You'll notice that there's a slot on the um, cross dowel, uh, and you'll want to be able to, to access that when uh, you put this other piece on you'll notice that you won't be able to access it from this side so you want to put it on this side here. So insert it and the slot should be um, flush with the face of this piece here. So now just screw it in You'll want to get it snug but not too tight so you can um, still move it a little bit while you're putting in the other ones. So let's do the next one. If you have trouble um, getting the screw into the cross dowel, then use a flathead screwdriver to um, align this with the screw. So let's get the other one. You can see that it's not very well aligned here. And I need to get the screw in the hole first. And it should align itself, but if it doesn't, then use a screwdriver. Use a flathead. Now you can tighten them pretty snugly. Okay. Now let's do the same thing to this one. We're going to be fastening these pieces to the bottom router mount like this. So let's start that process again. Take a one and a half inch screw, like before. Get a cross dowel. And then screw it in. You'll need a screwdriver. This one is a little bit small. Um, you'll need one that fits this type of Phillips head if you want to get it really tight. And do the same thing.
came to the other side. Now that you have all of these fastened, 